Hello everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm here taking a look at the chart of the SPY. So this is the market ETF for the S&P and we're trading up today. I, I, I called that this would happen in the trading room this morning. We got over the high from yesterday and the SPY looks like it's going to make a brand new all-time high today. It's only quarter of 12. Um, we're literally pennies away from that. So previous high was 291.74 and we're at 291.13. That's the market. Here, I'll just show this really quickly. But what I really want to talk about here and lecture about just for a few minutes today is I want to give you my thoughts on why, and this is just a general analysis here because many people have different, different problems with their trading. Uh, many people have different reasons why they're not successful. Uh, one of the biggest reasons why people are not successful, in, in my opinion now, I've been teaching people for almost six years, is that they lack focus, okay? So they lack focus. Now, what happens when you lack focus? You very easily are swayed in one direction or another in your trades and in your analysis of looking at a trade. So that prompts you then to have very little confidence, very little conviction in anything that you do, and it makes it difficult then to make money, and also then you go right into that fear mentality when you don't, have the belief system, the conviction, the confidence that something's going to work, okay? So my system gives me the focus. And a lot of people don't have focus because they don't have a system that they follow Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, January through December. They don't have a system that they follow every single day of the year. Now, even if you have a system, you still have to have a system that works and even if you have a system, you have to focus on it. You have to believe in it. You have to have conviction in it. You have to have confidence in it. If you don't, guess what? It's going to be very challenging for you to be successful because, again, anything that happens that sets off, that doesn't look right to you, whether it's in a millisecond or a minute or a day or an hour, you will kill the trade, lose money, exit too soon. I mean, I could go on and on and on with examples. This is a great chart, and I'm just going to recently talk about the trading in the last week in this chart to use this as an example because the market failed to make a new high last week. I truly believe that it was going to, all right? It had the potential. For whatever reason, we didn't have the momentum to get up over the high last week. However, on Monday last week, in the market report, I told people, we're going to make a brand new all-time high in the next week, soon. Now, today is Tuesday, so I said that Monday. So it took Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday. It took six days for the market to do that because we're going to do it here today. I don't see how we don't. Why? Because we've got, you know, four hours plus left in the, in the, in the trading day today. And we're up over yesterday's high. We've 100% retraced the sell-off from yesterday. If you saw the trading action, I'm going to take this off from yesterday. One, if you looked at the fundamentals of the news, the tariffs news that came out, okay? The tariff news that came out that the U.S. is putting more tariffs on China to combat this tariff fight. You would have thought the market was lower based on that news. The market did have a negative reaction last night post-market and the pre-market this morning as well was selling off in the gap. We ended up gapping open in some indexes, neutral in others, a little bit up in some. But either way, you might have had a bias if you were looking at news or fundamentals that the market was lower. And you might have thought the selling from yesterday would follow through. Actually, I didn't think it would follow through at all. I called the market higher this morning in the pre-market. I've said it every day, every day for the last week, like I said, that we'd make new highs. But if you didn't know what I know, you might have thought that the market technically and fundamentally was lower, okay? because of the sell-off that we had yesterday, because we gapped down slightly yesterday, because we were down this morning the pre-market, because of the news, looking at the chart, the failure to go over the high here, the double top that was happening, the break of the previous low from Friday, the failure to follow through higher, you might have thought technically and fundamentally that the market was not gonna do this. Now, I knew the market would do this. How did I know that? All right, how did I know that this would happen? Well, one, I'm really good at reading price action because I've been doing this for more than 10 years. But two, I focus 100% on my gap rating system. 
And that tells me when institutional buying or selling is coming into a stock in or the market or anything that gaps. So I use my gap analysis to rate the gap to help me determine if it's a long or short. All right. I focus on that every day. And when I look at the market, even if I don't play anything in the market, when I'm reading the market and making predictions, and I'm also saying where the market's going to go, I can tell where the market's going to go. I could tell this was going to happen. I said this would happen last week on Monday. And if you were in the market report or if you were in my trading room, you heard me say it. I actually said it, I think, in the options call I made too, which probably people killed. I called an option trade in the market, and I bet that 50% of the people in the letter killed this trade. It's going to go on to work. <laughs> so, I mean, bottom line is, and the lesson for today is, in order to be successful, I mean truly, truly successful, where you are making serious money, enough to either uh, get you ahead in life, or enough to do it for a living, or enough to help you have a more luxurious life, if you want to get ahead, if you want to get somewhere with your trading and make serious money, you have to have a system. It has to work and you have to focus on it too. And you cannot be dragged down by things like happen that you think isn't, isn't going to work and then gets all in your head. And how do you get to that point? Learn a system, do it, have the knowledge, and that helps give you the confidence and you trust in it. So see, I trust in my system. Well, first of all, I created it. So that's one of the reasons I trust it wholeheartedly so much, 100%, because I made it myself through a period of three years, but also I've been doing it a long, long time, a long time. And it doesn't mean that I'm never wrong, it, but I'm rarely wrong. And if I happen to be wrong, it's usually just slightly where I, with the timing, because I honestly thought the market would make a brand new all-time high by the end of last week. So it took us into this week but I still held the conviction. I even held the conviction yesterday when I saw the market selling off. I even held the conviction then because I knew that yesterday's sell off, that this bar was not institutional selling in the market. How did I know that? Because I read gaps, because I read gaps, because I read institutional selling. No institution sold off this market yesterday. Trainers were taking profits for whatever reason, Yesterday created a little bit of a sell-up in the market and some slightly negative news. It wasn't going to go anywhere. It couldn't even follow down this morning once we opened because we were down more this morning on the open and we gapped up a little bit here. Okay? I'm telling you it's so important. And one of the reasons that people are not successful is they lack a focus and they lack a system. So if you want to come and you want to learn from me, what would you learn? One, you would learn my system, and two, you would learn how to be focused. And my trading room forces people to do that because I cut it off where I'm the only person in charge, I'm the only one that can see the room comments, I'm the only one calling the trades, I'm the only one talking, I'm the only one giving analysis, and we're done in the morning and done, okay? Focus is on a set period of time frame. Focus is on one stock, typically a day, where I'm doing the analysis and I'm calling what's happening, and I do look at the market. So I hope that what I said today was helpful to people that are out there struggling. And if you're not struggling, if you've never traded before, you're hearing this at an exact good time for you. Because if you are brand new to the market and brand new to trading, you better get this right. You got to have a focus. It should be one focus. It should be one system. And you got to have confidence in it too. And the best thing you could do is learn from me because I have so much confidence in what I do, which is why I make calls like this. And I wasn't even put off by this at all at all when I saw this selling off yesterday. In fact, how much confidence do I have? The proof is that I got on national TV yesterday while the market was selling off and closed week. I even said on Fox News yesterday, I am so bullish in this market. I am really bullish in this market. I'm so bullish in this market. And I said that and we fell all day yesterday. And I said it on TV at four o'clock after the close. That's how much confidence I had. And look, I was right. <laughs> so. So anyways, if you're interested in more information, if you want to learn from me, you have a chance to do it yet in 2018. Take advantage of this. Don't miss this opportunity to learn from me. I am not going to teach my class forever. Okay? So you want to learn from me? The time is now. Don't wait. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and have a fantastic week, everyone.